hi and welcome to this blue and macro video tutorial today we're going to be playing online roulette at uh, pkr so we're just going to get started And we're just going to be using play money for this tutorial. Um, how about dollars be sufficient? Great. So what we're going to do is play by the Martingale principle, meaning we're going to place one on, on black, and uh, if we win, we place a new one. If we lose, we're going to double it, and uh, we're going to keep doubling it every time we lose, just until we win. Um, we're going to use the history window up here to determine if we won. Uh, you'll notice we have three columns here. Uh, red, green, and black, and uh, so I'm going to use this bottom right corner right here. Uh, if this one is green, it means there's not a black one, so we lost. Um, let's fire up Blur Macro and uh, get started. Just move this out of the way and create a new one. So let's name this PKR Roulette Online Casino. So we're gonna need a couple of variables down here because I want to be able to tweak this uh, macro afterwards without having to change the code. So we're gonna create a minimum bet. Let's set it to one and a maximum bet. We're gonna set it to 64. Uh, we're gonna use the maximum bet just in case we uh, are really unlucky and just keep losing. And then we're gonna we wanna quit after 64 bets and then we just gonna return to the minimum bet. So first we're gonna store the current bet in a new variable called bet. So uh, let's begin and say variable to set bet and let's set it to the minimum bet. Um, <clears throat> I think we're gonna use a couple of functions to do this. So I'm gonna say, first thing we need to do is uh, place the bet. So function place bet. And then we need to figure out if we won. So, um, check if we won and <clears throat> only thing we need to do now next is just say if if we actually did win then reset the bet to the minimum bet so um, just gonna catch this one so in case we win we're gonna set the bet back to the minimum bet um, however if we lost <clears throat> we're gonna, we're gonna no. Sorry about that. We're gonna multiply our bet, our current bet by two because we need to double it. So um, multiply bet by two. Now we need to honor our maximum bet. So uh, if if the current bet is greater than our maximum bet then we want to give up and uh, rest uh, go back to the minimum bet <coughs> like that um, so let's implement this first function here right here place bet now what we wanted to do is just uh, click right here as many times as the value of uh, bet um, this window as it moves around so will this coordinate set so um, we could of course go with the relative coordinates but uh, for simplicity of this uh, tutorial uh, we just gotta make sure the window is always located in the top left corner so let's just add a function to do that for us reset window location so that will be the first function we're gonna create reset window location now what we're gonna do is just um, <coughs> set this window. Let's just grab the exact name of it. Let's play, copy that, and yes, exact. And we're just gonna set it to the coordinate uh, set 1.1. And also we want to make sure it's the topmost window. So we're gonna bring it to front. After the window has been moved, we're just going to allow it uh, one second just to redraw everything. So um, let's pause the macro for a second. And that's it. So the next thing we need to do is place a bet. <coughs> so let's create another function.
place pad. Um, what we wanted to do is click this button right here as many times as the value of uh, pad. <coughs> right. And now we're going to need a screen dump of this uh, window over here. Now one thing you want to notice is this, because of all the 3D going on in here, it's uh, actually rendered by DirectX. Uh, and if we just try to mark the desktop, grab a screen dump, you'll notice we have the entire screen dump, the entire screen right here and not just the window. However, if I mark the window and grab a new screen dump, you'll notice the difference up here. Uh, right now we only have this uh, game window because it's rendered by DirectX. So, um, of course, we need to use a screen dump that only has the window because it will be the topmost one when the macro is actually running. <coughs> so um, let's go and grab the coordinate right here, the black one, import that. And we wanted to click the left mouse button. And now we've placed our bed. We also want to make this function actually spin the wheel around here. So let's say, click a coordinate and grab the coordinate of the spin button. And that's also going to be the left mouse button. Then we're just going to wait for half a second. And now you'll notice if I click the spin button, this history goes away <coughs> and then reappears. So we need to somehow make the macro wait for this window to reappear. So to do that, we're going to say, wait for color coordinate to be within. So we want to wait for, I think we're going to go with this corner down here. Let's just have a range of 10, just in case the colors uh, vary, varies a bit. And go with the corner right here. So it's going to wait for that. <coughs> and let's just add another pause for half a second to be on the safe side. And that's it. So now we're able to place the bed. Um, the only thing we're missing now is just checking if we won. So let's do that. Um, first we're going to assume that we lost. So <coughs> I'm going to set one to no. However, if this area right here is green, it's not green, then we w that means we won. Sorry, that means we lost. So let's just make sure we have a screen down where it's green in the bottom right. Great. So if now oh, we already have. So if this spot right here is uh, green, that means we lost. So if it's not green, it means we won. So we're going to set one to yes, and that's it. Um, I think I just forgot an end right here, like that. So that should be it. Let's just move this window, make sure it work works. And it's going to reset the window, place a bed. It was a black one, so it should just place one again. And it didn't. And the reason for that is I forgot to add a loop right here. Right now it's only going to play one round. Uh, of course we want to make it, uh, have it continue playing. So we're just going to add begin loop to this part. Great. So now it's going to continue playing. Let's try again. <coughs> we lost. So this time we should uh, double our bet. And we did. And now we should double it again. And we won. Earn our money back. Great. And it seems to be working, so um, that's it. Let's uh, start the macro. Just one quick note. Um, I noticed this window was pretty slow, so in order to not uh, drop any mouse movements, sometimes it wouldn't register the, the mouse movement before I actually click the button. So to get around that, inside the settings window, I set the mouse move delay to 25. Uh, another way of doing it. <coughs> 
would simply be instead of using click a coordinate just say mouse dot move to coordinate wait for half a second and then press the button but uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out so um, thank you for watching and um, have fun <laughs>